Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. It's one of those videos where I create 10 cards using just one paper pad. Now a few weeks ago I did show you those uh, 4 DIY blocks by Studio Light. These are the ones that give you ready-made cutouts as well as pattern paper to play with and I did ask you which one is your favorite and with which one I should play to create 10 cards. So after going through the hundreds of comments that I got, the winner is wild and free. And I think it's probably that one because it is quite unique. It has this earthy color combination as well as all the gorgeous animals. It gives you both masculine and feminine cards, so I find it really versatile. The second one that you voted and the close second one was the love to create which is absolutely adorable as well and then the third one was the vintage one and uh, to tell you the truth I would bet that uh, the vintage one would go first. So anyway let's start with the wild and free and create 10 cards. I always like to stick an envelope at the inside of the cover this way I can put inside all the different elements that I pop out but haven't used. And if you haven't seen that uh, first video, here is a really quick browse through all those designs. These are all uh, cutouts, so I don't have to cut around anything. And then uh, the half of the block gives you lots of pattern paper. One side has some design, the other side is solid. So you can mix and match the pattern papers with the die cuts at the front of the pad to create really quick and simple cards. Other than the pad, I will be working with basic supplies. This is a set of rectangle dies that I love to create my panels with. The specific one has a little uh, stitching all around that gives a lovely finished look. This set, as well as a set of circles, are a must have for me. So the first card is super simple. I just created a panel, I placed the elephant on top, I also popped out one of the birds so that he has a friend. And then I created a couple of banners just by using pattern paper from this kit. Now in the pad you will find lots of sentiments that you can play with and on many of those cards I will be working with those. For this one I decided to go with one of those ready-made ones that says always here for you, white letters on black background. And here is a close-up photo, just two die cuts, the elephant and the bird and you have a lovely card in no time. I will try to incorporate all the different uh, animals that uh, are included in this pad for my cards. So I did one with an elephant, let's do one with a giraffe. And I like to place the animals on top of the pattern papers to see if they have enough contrast. The giraffe is kind of a busy design, so I don't want to put it on top of a busy background because it is going to get lost. This time my card base is made out of brown cardstock, I placed on top the pattern paper that I cut. Using my rectangle ties, then I placed the giraffe on top, making sure that some parts of the giraffe go outside the rectangle. I find that it makes it look more interesting. That's the same case with a bunch of leaves and, and flowers there. And since I want to add some extra dimension, I'm going to add an extra flower on top which is going to bring some dimension and uh, life to that flower composition and I don't like that bottom empty corner so I'm going to cover it up with uh, foliage as well. I find giraffes are so beautiful and elegant so anyway this is one of my favorite cards that I made today just because of that image. And then of course I had to use that stand tall sentiment that was included in this paper pad I'm going to trim off one of the sides and I will place it on top with foam tape to complete my card. Since all 10 cards today will have the same look and feel, you can easily create a set and hand them out as a gift. So let's move on to the third card and this time I'm going to play with a leopard. You see again I'm placing it on top of pattern paper to see if it stands out enough. I decided to go with a busy one because although it has some pattern it works just fine. So I cut out a panel using my rectangle dies. I also cut out a circle on that panel and now I have a little window where I can pop my animal inside. And I also popped out a few of those flower compositions. I'm just trying to decide what would look best. You can go completely brown or you can introduce a little bit of green for some contrast 
At this stage, I didn't know which one I wanted to use, so I decided to stick first the sentiment and then audition all those different bunches of flowers to look what's more pleasing. Now for the sentiment I went with wild and free that brings in some of that muted green so after all I decided to use the bunch of flowers that has green leaves and match perfectly with the sentiment. You can easily repeat the same card design with any of the animal heads that are included in the pad. And now it's time to work with the lion, for that I decided to pair it with one of the tags from the pad. I'm tying a little bit of a thread to the top just to introduce some extra texture and I'm going to stick that down on the brown pattern paper. And then just next to it I will stick the head of the lion. This is one of those cards where I pick lots of elements from the pad and just create a cluster. So here I went with the sentiment that says King of the Jungle and I embellished it with a few leaves and a flower. Also keep in mind that since you get twice each design on the pad you can easily create an identical card which means that 10 cards can instantly go up to 20. For this card I'm going to play with a little bird and I decided to play again with two pattern papers, the light brown one and that uh, background that has that lovely design. Then I'm using the bird and I want that to go uh, on top of a bunch of flowers. So on one corner of my card I'm going to create a big flower composition. As you can see this flower composition that I picked isn't as big but I did extend it by tucking underneath extra leaves and flowers. So for the sentiment I decided to go with a simple hello, one of those ready-made sentiments again. For this card I decided to finish it off by adding a few gems at the center of my flowers and I will also scatter a few around the card. And here is a close-up photo where you can see better the flower composition where I did use extra leaves and flowers in different layers to make it look more full. For the next card I'm going to play with my zebra. Again I have created a little panel using my rectangle die and pattern paper. I'm placing on top the zebra. And you see I did change my mind on uh, the position of the zebra, but when I stick all those uh, elements I make sure that I don't press them too hard, so they are kind of forgiving in case I want to change them around. Here I picked one of the small white flowers and I'm sticking at the back a couple of leaves, and then I'm going to stick this flower with the leaves on top of my zebra to embellish her, to dress her up and make her look cute. And I'm keeping this card design clean and simple, I'm just going to stick a sentiment that says how are you and I finish it off by adding a little gem at the center of the flower. For the next card again I used one of the rectangle ties to create a panel and then I used my circle dies to create three little windows. I did use a bigger and a smaller circle just for variation and I made sure that they are quite random. I did pick three of the animals which are the smaller ones in the pad and I'm going to tuck them inside those windows, picking out. I have foam tape at the back of all of them so they are going to add some dimension. Of course for the giraffe I need to chop off the legs to make her fit inside and this would make a great um, birthday card. You can go with a sentiment such as from all of us, happy birthday. However, I decided to go with one of the sentiments that are included in the pad and I finally went with let's go on an adventure. And we are at card number 8. Now for this one again I'm going with my uh, usual design, a rectangle on top of my card base. I'm going to stick down one of the tags and I haven't used already a puma from the animals included, so that's the puma card. I'm going to embellish it again with leaves and flowers. And again, since I love dimension, I'm sticking the extra flower using foam tape. And I will also tuck behind that puma a couple of leaves. 
Now for the sentiment I went with stay wild that I chopped off from a larger sentiment that said stay wild little child and I did thread some twine on the tag just to add some extra texture. And now I'm going to show you a couple of ideas on how you can use those rectangle images. So let's make card number 9 by using the Rhino which I haven't used up to now. I did die cut one more identical panel that's exactly the same size and I'm going to place one on top of the other on an angle so that the other color peeks through. Then I'm going to place that on top of my card and I will embellish it with some foliage. If you notice I went with the leaves that have that brown on top of them as well as the grey so it matches lovely with the animal as well as with the background. For my sentiment I went with birthday guy and I make sure that it is parallel to the bottom so it is straight although all the other panels are wonky and I finish it off by adding a few more leaves and flowers. And finally on the 10th card for today, and here is another way that you can use those rectangle images, you can create a little window. So from my nested dies, this fits perfectly. I did cut out the window, so I ended up with a frame. I'm going to stick the image on top of my card base. And I will stick the frame on top. I did uh, use foam tape at the back, so it is raised. And of course you can easily turn this design into a shaker card if you wish so. And just like I did with most of the cards, I will embellish it with a bunch of flowers. I went with the brownish ones this time. And for the sentiment, I went with a banner that says Adventure Awaits. I will pop a few more extra flowers and leaves to make it more dimensional. And I'm going to call this card done. So here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. And now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I made for today showcasing the wild and free DIY blog by Studio Light. Just like always, in the description you can find links to everything I used to create these 10 cards. Here is a big heart for you, just because you are still with me after creating 10 cards. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.